I'm going to show you how to use a ZYT16G microcomputer timer switch today. So as you can see the time for me currently is 10.23.32 and I want to set a timer for the entire week Monday to Friday. So what I'm going to do, as you can see it's already got the day there, it's Monday. I'm going to press timer and this first one is just going to be my straight Monday to Sunday one. So I don't have to press anything else, I just press hour and you can see at the top there it's selected Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday but if I decide that I actually want to make that just the Monday you press week here and it changes the day so you can go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then you've got some other combinations like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday so just the weekend, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and then just weekdays as well but what we're going to do is we're going to have the entire week so this is going to be the first option there's 16 different options both on and off but we're going to do uh, just the Monday to Sunday on and I want it to turn on at 8 so you can press everything individually um, what we're going to do is we're going to change to off now so press timer and it switches to off and what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to press and hold it and I want it to turn off at 6 o'clock. There we go. And that's that. That's as simple as the Monday to Sunday one. Now let's say that I actually wanted it to turn off and on during the day as well. Just for today because it's Monday. I want it to switch off at 12 and turn back on at 1 o'clock. So I'll put 2 back on at one o'clock and then for the off I'll set it for 12. Now you don't have to do it in order and you also don't have to use these you don't have to use every single one but as you can see here there's 16 different on functions and 15, 16 different ons so it's quite versatile as to what you actually can do um, but yeah and it's as simple as that and you just leave it and the thing will switch uh, switch on automatically but uh, actually just before I forget one thing you do have to be aware of is it says on auto or off currently I've set it to off because I have a massive fan down the bottom that would distort the audio um, but if you want to have an auto timer you have to press this here and switch it to auto so I'm going to do that now and it's going to be loud because it's going to switch everything on. So it's staying with the timer, but as you can see, I've got that huge fan down the bottom there. And then if you want to bypass the timer, just press this again and change it to on. And as long as there's power going to the screen, it will constantly remain on. But what I want is I want to leave it on auto. Easy as that.